What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today is the 20th of December. Once again, I will edit one of your pictures and today I want to show you how to create this the weekend look right here. You requested it a lot on my Instagram and also you Alpha sent me this post right here, this picture of you. And I thought it was the perfect base to recreate this the weekend look. Now this is the picture that you sent me. And this right here is what we've created, what I will show you how to recreate today using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. I think it comes super close to that, um, the weekend look, the weekend picture. And I've also created a preset on exactly this look for you guys if you don't want to toggle along to the whole tutorial. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in the all presets pack with over 100, now even over 150. Um, different presets that you could just easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. Most of you guys already have the all presets pack, so you can start working with this preset of today right now. The rest of you, I really recommend this pack because every time I create new presets, they're automatically in the pack. It's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. And of course, if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future videos. Now, thanks so much for sending all all of your pictures for me to edit if you also want to send me your picture or maybe a new picture or you just have questions or uh, just new ideas for new videos in general feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle and I'm always open for conversation and really excited to hear from you now I've said enough let's jump right into this tutorial the first thing I want to do is open Alpha's picture in the free Lightroom app right here now we want to go to light down here and go to curve on the upper right side and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is here. It's a really steep S curve actually. The shadows on the bottom left side pulled up a little bit and the highlights on the upper right side just pulled down a little bit. And once you have this as it is right here, we're done. Now the next thing we want to do is just pull down the contrast a little bit to negative 15. Pull down the highlights as well to negative 10 push up the shadows to plus 19 or 18 and the whites you want to pull down a little bit to negative 15 right there and the blacks also down to negative 16. Then we go over to color right here and what we want to do is just pull down the temperature to negative 34. This might seem a lot right now but it will make much more sense later. The tint we want to pull down as well to negative 20. Three right there and the saturation down here all the way down to negative 24. Then we scroll up, hit grading right there. And for the shadows here, we just want to boost the hue to around 53 in this case, a hue of 53 and the saturation all the way up to 30 one right here. Then for the midtones, we just want to leave the hue at zero, but the saturation up a little bit to six. And then the highlights, we want to pull the hue all the way over to 316 and the saturation up to around 15 right here. Then we scroll up, we're done. We hit the color mix right here. What you want to do for the red tones is nothing. For the orange tones though, you want to boost up the saturation to plus 45 right here go over to the yellow tones pull down the hue to negative 32 that kind of orange area then we want to boost up the saturation to plus 30 right there and leave the luminance at zero the green tones we're not going to change aqua tones we're not going to change but for the blue tones we just want to boost the saturation a little bit to around plus 19 or 18 right here then we're done. We scroll over to the effects tab here. And the last touches we want to do here is just add a vignette, add that dark circle on the bottom and the top right here. So the vignette, we want to pull that down to around negative 48 is good. Then the midpoint right here, we want to pull down to around 32 the feather we want to make it smooth so we boost that up a little bit to 64 and now the roundness here we want to boost up all the way to plus 100 so it's more on the top and bottom than actually on the sides now the last thing we want to do is just add grain here of course so we 
push that up to plus 28 right here and we are done and now this is it guys here's a little before and after and i think we came super close to this the weekend inspired look i hope those of you who requested this tutorial are happy with the result i thought also uh, what we did to your picture i hope you like on um, that little transition that edit that we did today i absolutely love it once again thanks to all of you guys for sending your pictures for sending requests for inspiring me motivating me and just supporting this channel make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell to not miss out on any of my future videos and of course i've also created a preset on exactly this the weekend look right here it's on my website the link is under this video and it's in the all presets pack with over 150 presets and you can just easily paste it to every one of your pictures to make them look great make them look um creative check it out the cool thing about the all presets pack is that every time i create new presets which right now is on a daily basis. They're automatically updated to the pack. So you just have to buy it once and you'll get new presets every week or now every day. So it's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. And of course, if there's anything else you need from me, any questions you have or just new ideas for new videos or want to send me your pictures to edit on this channel, feel free to DM them to me on Instagram. At Stephen Womack is my handle. I'm really excited to hear from you guys. Now, thanks so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in my next video tomorrow, same time. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy, peace.